seeing that I'm out here talking to the chipmunks, might as well be recording. So, yeah, fucking huge day, holy shit. Uh, got up and got dressed and ate, and then I was right outside, helped my neighbor clear out the garage, and um, then, well, the other, on Friday, because they had planned on doing a yard day, spring cleaning, um, today, but it was supposed to rain, so, at least on Wednesday, Thursday, it looked like it was going to rain, so we, um, or I, uh, raked up all the stuff back here, as you saw in the last video, and then Haley, they, uh, got some of well, those Canadian Tire, um, yard refuse disposal bags, I guess we'll call them. And uh, if you put them in those special bags, they will pick them up and cart them away for you. So we did that. Um, yeah, so she raked back here, and then she cleaned up the alleyway here. I had a big pile of stuff there. Hello, little buddy. That's a little girl. That's a little girl. She's the one that we saw, the very first chipmunk, I think, that we saw, because she's that little tiny one. She won't come right up to me yet. She thinks about it, but I mean, lose, I lose patience, and then I just like, okay, I gotta go, because she takes way too long. But uh, now that this is all cleared out, I can sit down and have patience and work with them. Um, yeah, so cleaned up this, um, and uh, what else did we do? Oh, there's uh, this hedge or bushes that are over here. Oh, I'm so sore. Brad was saying the other day that he was thinking about trimming them so on this side so they could pull the vehicles up closer without the branches scratching the vehicles and also just to make more room over there because when the leaves kind of bulk it down it takes up a bit of space so we got a little private area there when it, the leaves all fill in and um, then myself I um, over the winter I was supposed to uh, get rid of all these boxes that I've had since I moved in in 2012. Um, I hated the moving process so much that I was like, fuck this, I'm keeping all these boxes, so if I ever have to move, I got all these boxes, everything to go right back in. They were all labeled as to what they were, so I thought I'd keep those, but I've been here for, what, six years or more? Yeah, way more. Eight years. And, um... No, not eight years. <laughs> Sorry, I'm high. Anyways, I never got rid of those fucking boxes over the winter. I was going to break them down and get them ready to leave. Because I thought if I left them, if I left them, uh, if I left them till the winter, then all the spiders and bugs and stuff would all be dead and frozen. Holy shit. Birds would hit me in the head. Um, so uh, I never did break them down because I procrastinate, and um, I uh, broke them down today, and got rid of a whole bunch of them, not all of them, but a good bunch, hey there, chickadee, or whatever you are, black cat, the one that almost hit me in the head, um, so yeah, I got all those boxes out of the basement, and uh, Brad took some, there was like a TV that was here when I first moved in, <coughs> And uh, it's one of the old big TVs. Well, it's not like a huge size, but it's one of those big depth. Not a flat screen. So he's doing a dump run. So I just got as much stuff out of there as I could. I took three bags. Carried three great big bags of old bedding and clothing over. Over past that little warehouse there. In front of it, there's a diabetes um, clothing donation bin. That I put stuff in before and uh, took a whole bunch, three big bags of stuff over there. So somebody will be happy, have some new clothes and bedding. And uh, now I'm gonna go inside and fall down.